So one of the things that's really important to understand that the code does in fact say is what are the goals of these systems? When we write this standard NFPA 13D, what are we trying to do with this? We're not trying to do with a 13D system what we do with an NFPA 13 system. I run both of the co uh, code committee meetings for 13 and 13D. The discussions we have for 13D are drastically different than the discussions we have in a 13 meeting. One of the priorities with NFPA 13, uh, 13 D systems is cost. Every cycle, every three years we rewrite NFPA 13 D, we have these things come up. And one of the first things the committee will say is, what does that do to the cost of the system? How does it impact the homeowner? How does it impact the home builder? How does it impact from a cost, pers uh, from a cost perspective uh, the, the, the developer or the, the community where it's going in? We don't talk about that in NFPA 13. You're putting a sprinkler system in, it's gonna be a fire protection uh, system that's gonna provide both life safety and property protection. We never say, oh, well, you know, that fire pump could cost 240,000 installed versus 220, we better not do it. We say, what's the right thing to do? What's the best thing to do? With 13D, what the right thing and the best thing to do often has to do with cost. We don't wanna price people out of these systems. But what we do focus on is bullet number two is life safety. That's the battle we have, is how do we maintain an appropriate system cost while still maintaining a high level of life safety? And that is a focus of NFPA 13D, 